Next up, Roshan is in Hawthorne East in Melbourne. Just like all our cities around the world, space is precious. Roshan is about to check out a home that packs a lot into a very small footprint. With only a five by four metre footprint, this home in beautiful inner city Melbourne has truly set a precedent for sustainable home design. Join me as we take a look. Ralph, first and foremost, thank you so much for inviting me here today to look at your beautiful home. Welcome. I'll be honest with you, on the way here, I thought a home built on a 20 square metre footprint, I didn't know what to expect. I kind of thought initially, it's going to be like an episode of Doctor Who. It's going to be a TARDIS, and when I open up the doors, it's going to explode into a beautiful home. The first time I mentioned 20 square metres uh, to the first person, they said, oh yeah, 20 square metres, yeah. And then there's silence, and you can see them processing. Hang on, 20 square metres, that's tiny. If you start thinking about how you use space, you start realising you don't need that much space. You can only occupy one space at a time. And this house is designed for a couple or a single person uh, to live in. It's about using the space efficiently, multiple use spaces. So everything in this house has at least two functions on it. There's one area that actually has four functions and you know, I, I get excited about it because you start thinking about things that way and you become very efficient. Now, I'm not a genius for doing this. This has been done in yachting, caravans and so on for generations. So it's nothing new in here. Everything in this house also is commercially available technology. It's just put together in a bespoke manner. Ralph, walking inside, I know you spoke about caravans, I know you spoke about yachts. I literally do feel like I've A, I've walked into a TARDIS, because it is way more expensive than I thought it's going to be. But secondly, your use of space is absolutely fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit more about the way you've styled the interior and the use of space and the use of materials? So the use of space is very important. Like I mentioned before, everything has at least two functions. Some have four that I was getting very excited about. For example, there's a TV that actually sits in the cupboard here. The couch turns into a dining table. An area over here that has at least four functions is this recessed uh, window planter box system here. So you can have edible plants in here. It's set back, which means it gets shade. So that way it's not heating the glass up. We have external blinds on there because it faces due west. Again, we didn't have to have fire rated glass because we're building to the boundary. Also by it being recessed, you can't see off to the side. So you've got privacy from the neighbors and the neighbors from us. The environment feels really, really cool. How do you achieve that? So the house is built to passive house standards. So the insulation is double the Australian building standards. Then it's an airtight home. You have mechanical ventilation, so you're controlling the air coming in and going out. So once you've controlled that space, then you can call that we've got a geothermal heat pump. So it's just like a split system air conditioner, except on a hot day with your split system air conditioner, you've got hot air trying to cool those elements. Here with the geothermal, it's 16 to 18 degrees year round in the ground from four meters down. We've drilled down 65 meters, I think it is, and there's cold water pumped through. Warm water goes in, it gets cooled down by the ground, it comes up, it runs through the heat pump. So it's a really efficient system for cooling the water, which then air is blown through. So it's like your radiator in your car and you get cold air in summer and in winter you get warm. So Ralph, don't take this personally, I have loved your home so far, but this definitely is my favorite part of the home. It's absolutely awesome. And once again, you've absolutely utilized the space perfectly. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you've done here? Everything, like I said, has more than one function. So for example, the solar panels offer shade and they're generating power. Then you also have your planting up here and then you've got air and space around you. You've got the hot tub up here. So you're utilising space. It's what brings you up here. 
you manage to fit 15 solar panels on this property, including the, uh, the facade I love so much. The choice of manufacturer was Yingli, which are a globally renowned manufacturer. Um, I know why Yingli are such a great brand, but why did you choose to use them? 10 years ago, Energy Matters wasn't around to help me. I researched it and Yingli were one of the top tier manufacturers, and they still are. So I was quite happy back then. Their product is of good quality. We intend to now swap these panels over and actually use these older panels on my next project. Look, the latest module is absolutely fantastic. It's a 440, it's a bifacial N-type um, panel, which is essentially high efficiency, very sleek looking design, but also very lightweight, which is actually perfect for this roof structure. Essentially, you're gonna get way more bang for buck. Thank you so much for showing me around today. It's ticked every single box in my mind around sustainability, but also how to effectively use space. I mean, I'm truly inspired the fact you've got so much natural material in this home. You've maintained a high level of energy efficiency throughout, loads of beautiful natural light. It doesn't compromise on living, which is what I love about it the most. Feels good, it fits right. We don't move too quick. Got hers, I get mine. We say, ooh, that's it. Say what I feel is a fact. She said she feel it right back. Got sentimental, lost the momentum. Said what I meant though. Yeah, I got what I give. Can't block what it is. And I'm not on the triple flake. If the clock got thick and we got off script, I won't just dip, I stay.